Here we go. Okay, so I don't even know where to get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am finally talking about my LASIK experience. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you watched any of my other videos, then you probably know that I did get LASIK done. I mean, it's literally the only thing I've been able to talk about for the last month. So it didn't help. I don't know what I just found, but it's really scary. I think Odin is losing his teeth. Fuck, I dropped it. Let me show you. <laughs> Look at this. Can you see it? It's like a little baby Odin tooth or a nail. I have no idea. Anyways, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. I wanted to make this video because I think around LASIK, there are a lot of questions and a lot of misconceptions about the whole process and the procedure. So I wanted to make this video for those that are considering getting LASIK done. And I also got video footage of like the entire procedure on my eyeball. So I'm gonna have that at the end. But just to get started, I'm gonna kind of go over um, like my history, my vision, what scared me about LASIK. I'll talk about the cost, recovery, really just everything around it. And then I'll get into showing you like the actual procedure. I feel like it's graphic, but maybe that's just because it's my eyeball and it's like, makes me sick, <laughs> but I haven't even watched all of it yet because it freaks me out. But I think it's just because I'm still in the recovery process. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> I haven't always had a terrible vision. I used to have perfect vision up until I was maybe 15 or 16. And I just started getting like these terrible headaches. I had like, blurred vision and like little squiggly lines. So I, you know, I remember when my vision first started going bad and when I wasn't really able to see anymore. So I went with contacts first and then I got also had glasses. So and I wasn't really good about it. I mean, I was like one of those girls that I would put contacts in my eyes and leave it in there for like a week, two weeks, basically until I either like lost it or it became like too hard to even keep in. So, you know, I, I don't like dealing with my eyes. I've never liked putting in eye drops. Yeah, just terrible vision. <laughs> I'm not sure how to really read like a vision prescription, but I'm just going to post it here for you. Um, so my left eye has always been worse than my right eye. The sphere is like a negative five, five plus in both eyes. I have an astigmatism, so it's gotten progressively worse over time. The access is bad. I don't know. It just took a lot for me to get to somewhere close to 2020. And even after like going through so many different eye exams, I've been through so many different eye doctors. I just never felt like you know, going through the eye exams that I had perfect vision on my prescription and my prescription has always changed. So I have eight different pairs of glasses and it's just, it's just been a lifetime of misery. <laughs> you know, I always heard of LASIK obviously. And I knew like a couple of friends who had gotten LASIK done. I just never really considered it for me just because there were so many misconceptions that I had around the whole surgery and I just never really thought it would be possible for me, which is kind of weird. I told myself I would be okay with hiding behind my glasses and like, that's just not the person that I am anymore. So I'm happy that I did, like I can actually like put my face out there. And I think it was like, so I mostly always just wore glasses because it was easier and I was comfortable hiding behind my glasses. Of course, I liked, like I preferred to wear contacts more recently, like within the last five years or so. Odin's coming. Hello. Do you wanna come sit with me? I think I found a tooth of yours. Get on up here. Come on, big boy. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. That's my illusion. Okay, so um, where was I? So I always wore glasses. You know, I have so many different pairs of glasses, so it was just kind of like my default. And because it was much more comfortable than contacts. So since I had such a bad astigmatism, the shape of my eye made it incredibly uncomfortable to wear contacts. 
the prescription was so bad too that they didn't really make contacts that like would support the best vision for my eyeball so whenever i did wear contacts it was like i had a constant migraine and my eyes were like very uncomfortable it always felt like there was like something in it just because the fit wasn't right um and my vision wasn't great like nighttime it was so bad it yeah it sucks so i really never wore contacts unless i was working on my car or if i was snowboarding or wearing a helmet being like that and then going from wearing glasses all the time whenever i took them off I couldn't see anything <laughs> like I was both farsighted and nearsighted so it's just so crazy being able to see myself in the mirror clearly and not painfully I can wake up and see it's so nice laying in bed and not having to like you know adjust my glasses or like accidentally falling asleep with them on or breaking them because I've sat on so many pairs of glasses um seeing in the shower I can actually see where I'm shaving <laughs> so you know it's it's just crazy I mean I could go on for forever like the differences in everyday life that getting LASIK has done for me yeah so that was my vision and I went to my last checkup and I am now seeing better than 2020 vision which is freaking unreal it's so cool it's so cool <laughs> So like I said, I knew what LASIK was. I just didn't think that it would be something for me. And it just kind of like was sitting on the back of my mind. I mean, I got braces done recently to try and just straighten my teeth. I've been like, working on like fixing my skin because I had really bad breakouts. And then I just knew that like my vision was gonna be next. I just didn't know that it was gonna happen so soon. Yeah, I was talking to Brandon about it for a while and just kind of like mentioned how nice it would be. Well, yeah, like this is on the list within the next year, you know, I'll get LASIK done. Um, just because I had thought that it would be like thousands of dollars and like, a super painful and like terrible procedure. And, you know, I was just like, yeah, within the next year, I'm in no rush to get it done. But went and got a consultation done just because you know just to know like what to expect as far as like recovery time and cost so that way i could just start putting money aside for it so i made three different consultations at three different doctors in the area that i live in um so i went to my first one and my first one was like the highest rated one in the area so you know of course that was like probably the main one that I wanted to go to. Um, so I went to the consultation and it took about an hour, an hour and a half. And it was mostly just, you know, making sure that I was a good candidate for it. She went over the different types of procedures. So there's LASIK, there's PRK, and then there's like another um, procedure. So really they just kind of like look at your eyes, what your goal is, what your lifestyle is, and then just, you know line up the breast procedure for your lifestyle basically and for some reason i always thought that my vision would be too bad in a way to even get lasik done which is wildly inaccurate but <laughs> yeah so we just went through everything they checked like the pressure of my eyes and luckily i was like a perfect candidate for it which you know was shocking to me since i thought that my eyes were like the worst eyes that they'd ever seen which is also not true you know, really, I think that she's the one that like sold me on the whole like procedure and going with that doctor and that just kind of like really vibed with me. So I was like, yeah, I don't, I canceled my other two appointments at the other doctor's offices. The other one, actually, my appointment would have been yesterday. <laughs> so it's kind of cool that, you know, I was able to get the procedure done and I'm like healed already and all before I would have even had the consultation with them. So <laughs> yeah, so the consultation I think that if you are considering getting LASIK or, you know, even if your eyesight, if you don't have perfect eyesight, like just go get a consultation done They're I'm pretty positive. Like they're almost always completely free. So after the consultation, I went home and I was hyped. <laughs> I was like through the roof, like just like I need to get this done now. So, um, of course, Brandon, you know, more excited than I was, I think. I think he was the one that was all like, call her back now, schedule the appointment. And I did. So um, <laughs> so literally a week from the appointment and I got the surgery done. Um, 
And it's nice that it was just like so easy and I was able to just go get it, go get it done. <laughs> I just want to talk about the procedure briefly here. Uh, of course, I'm going to show you like the full thing at the end. But um, so for the procedure, it was basically just no caffeine and no alcohol the morning of. They had me go in the afternoon just because after the surgery, you know, it's going to be worthless after. <laughs> I got there. My appointment was at 2.30. I got there at you know 220 they gave me a pill to calm me down i thought that they were going to like kind of sedate me so that way i was a little bit loopy but no not at all i was fully awake and conscious of what was going on which also scared me i think i was there for a total of maybe like an hour which was not bad at all the procedure only took you know like 13 minutes the length of the video at the end here um they told me it was only going to be like 30 seconds so like 15 seconds for one eye 15 seconds for the other one so that's really what I was expecting um not true <laughs> I think they could have prepared me a little bit more for like just how uncomfortable it was going to be um and I mean it wasn't like painful it was just really like not not something that I was into at all I didn't like it <laughs> but anyway so they brought me into the room and you know they laid me down I had my like little like squeeze ball and I thought I was gonna rip it to shreds. I'm trying to remember like what it was like. So they like put this thing on your eye and it like suction cups it and that was like really bad. I think the only part that like made it terrible is they put these little like metal like fish hooks basically to hold your eye back. And then the suction cup, it was, that was probably the worst thing. Um, and that's why this eye was like really red after because it's even still red. You're welcome. But <laughs> let me just spread my eyelashes for you. Eyelids, let me just spread them. Okay. <laughs> anyway, because <laughs> it like hurt so bad that I like flinched. So that popped a bunch of blood vessels. So if you're going to get LASIK done, don't flinch because then you'll look like a freaking like a zombie from I Am Legend. That's what I've been looking like for the last three weeks. That was really the only bad part. And then, so that was the actual like opening the the top flap of your eye. Cause what they basically do is they suction and open the top of your eye, go in, laser your eyeballs, and then bada bing, bada boom. So the suction sucked. And then after, you know, like you can see everything that's happening and that was over pretty quickly as long as if you cooperate and don't flinch it'll be over a lot faster for you so just make it easier on yourself and chill out don't be like me <laughs> what took the longest was just i think putting the flap back over my eye which is kind of crazy because when you're laying there you can actually see the needles and like him like working like the ch -ch 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 over your eye and you just have to like stay focused on like this laser which was terrible for me because I can't look into the light it kills my eyes so I think that was like the only uncomfortable part but I mean it's so short it's fine and it's so worth it that you're, you know you're just laying there just so excited to be able to see So the cost, the cost was probably like my biggest deterrent before getting the procedure done. You know, I really thought it was going to be like $10,000 and it used to be right when it was like still new. And I know a lot of people get PRK if they're like joining the military too, which is, I guess, pretty similar, like a similar recovery process and everything. So yeah, I thought it was going to be insanely expensive but it varies from state to state and then each doctor is going to be different too but if you get the consultation they'll tell you exactly what to expect um my doctor even offered like a cash discount so they would save you like 200 bucks if you were to or i think it was like 150 that they would save if you like pay in cash but i paid two days ahead and it was just you know the same amount but so in colorado the range is anywhere between four thousand to six thousand dollars so like two thousand per eye my total was four thousand five hundred i think i spent like five thousand total because of course afterwards i had to go and spend five hundred dollars on new sunglasses that I can actually finally wear. I bought my first pair of Ray-Bans, so I was freaking excited. <laughs> and I haven't broke them yet either, which is like the biggest thing. I think if you check your insurance, they actually might help pay for it. It is an elective procedure, but like my insurance, when I was employed at my old employer, they were willing to pay like 1,000 of it. So 
Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to check, you know, definitely look at that. You can also use your HSA funds because I did have some of my HSA that I was just able to um, basically pay myself back, like refund myself for putting that certain amount of money towards the procedure. So, you know, definitely look into that. It definitely helps and it's definitely worth it. I think like the 4,500 compared to what I have spent in the last 10 years on glasses, contacts, eye exams, like it's insane. And <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's so worth it. And it, if it's an investment, I think, in your confidence, in yourself, your everyday life. And I think if you invest in yourself, then, you know, there's nothing better for you to invest in. And they have financing and such. They also accept care credit, so that helps as well. But um, I feel like some doctor's offices will be, like, really flexible with you as far as, like, payment options go. So it doesn't hurt to explore it. So I got it done and now for the recovery process. So <laughs> I knew it was gonna be rough. Actually, that hasn't been bad at all. Yeah, it really wasn't bad at all. <laughs> um, so the first 24 hours was pretty painful. I think just from my the swelling of my eyelids, um, had a lot of eye sensitivity. So I really just like boarded up all the windows in the room and laid in bed for like that whole night. I was already kind of out of it from like the painkiller, so I was able to mostly just like sleep through everything. Um, just put the office on because, you know, I can listen to it and I already know like exactly what's going on in this show. So it really wasn't bad at all. Um, the next day I was able to like get up, go outside, went shopping. You definitely want to make sure that you stay on top of like the eye drops that they give you. They give you like numbing ones for the pain and then other ones to just make sure that your eyes are like not too dry. Um, I also was taking fish oil and flaxseed to help with the dryness. Um, they are really particular about the eye drops that you use afterwards. So I use like the main one that they recommended. So this is the preservative free refresh Optive Mega 3 Lubricant Eye Drops, and then it's enhanced with flaxseed oil. So this is what I've been using. Um, and you know, I don't really use them as much anymore already. Really just like when I feel like my eyes are starting to get really dry, you know, I'll just throw in some drops. But um, my eyelashes did start falling out, I think just from like all the medicine and it would like stick to my eyelashes. And I would take a needle to try and like separate it, but it still would like just pull them out. So I have some still in there, like my little strong ones, but yeah, a lot of my eyelashes did fall out, <laughs> but they'll grow back. I've ripped out my eyelashes many times in my life. I think another thing, you know, you also want to make sure that you aren't swimming, um, no hot tub for a few weeks. And then of course, no makeup too, only because you don't want to be like rubbing your eyes. Um, like you actually can't rub your eyes for a whole month after the procedure because it could mess with the flap. So the flap could reopen, which sounds freaking terrifying to me. So I still haven't really rubbed them. I can wash my face now, but that's also why I haven't worn makeup yet is because in removing makeup, I'm like super like aggressive <laughs> with the whole rubbing of the eyes. So I'm just not even gonna mess with it for now. I think maybe on Friday it'll be like closer to four weeks since my procedure. So maybe then I'll like decide to do my makeup, which I'm really excited to do because I've never really been able to like see where I'm applying makeup clearly. So hyped, it's little things, you know? <laughs> Was it worth it? Yes, a thousand times over, yes. <laughs> The cost, the pain, the discomfort, healing process, everything, just, yes, completely worth it. I knew it was going to be life-changing, but it's just crazy to me how every single little thing I do now is just so much better than what it was before. The biggest thing for me is the confidence that I have now. For having such blurry vision and just never feeling right with glasses and then just having like such heavy and tired eyes with contacts, it was just terrible and <clears throat> i think it also kind of had an impact on the way that i saw the world and then it also i think even more importantly how i felt the world saw me um 
I think it was like hard to go from not really knowing even like what I looked like, I guess, like and how people saw me, which is, it's kind of like a weird thing to talk about. You know, like I said before, I didn't always have bad vision. So I knew what it was like to be able to have perfect vision and then go to having like such terrible vision. But I think I hadn't seen myself for 12 years since I had, since my vision just started like going downhill. You know, it was bad at farsighted, but then like the nearsightedness to where like, like I was able to see myself in the mirror and then it just like very slowly just started to like disappear. And then eventually like I couldn't even like make out my eyes clearly. Like I couldn't look into my myself in the eyes, but really I'm just, I'm so happy. I feel so good. So yes, it's very worth it. And I recommend you do the same. Like, just go get a consultation done. It doesn't hurt. And of course, if you have like more specific questions or if you're in like the Colorado, Colorado Springs area, I'll refer you over to my doctor because he is amazing. I guess another thing I wanted to mention is if you're getting the consultation done, I think you should treat it like take an interview approach. You know, the doctor is basically you're interviewing the doctor to do the procedure on you. So you want to make sure that you're compatible with the doctor as far as treatment, preparation, time, everything goes. Like another fear that I had was that you're at risk of, you know, completely losing your eyesight from LASIK if anything were to go wrong. I mean, technology and everything has come a long way since when they first started doing LASIK and the odds of losing your eyesight completely are like very slim, but don't be afraid to ask your doctor in the consultation process if they have had any patients that have lost their eyesight or maybe like if they have had patients where their eyesight wasn't corrected or don't be afraid to ask those like very like blunt questions because you are interviewing the doctor basically. Um, it's an elective procedure, so you are in complete control where you go when you get it done, who's going to do your eye surgery. So, you know, don't be afraid to go to a couple of different consultations if maybe you don't vibe right with your first doctor. You know, you definitely want to put your best interest first. So don't be afraid to do that. If you want, I can like, because I wrote down all my questions and I had them like ready to go when I went in for my consultation. So if you want that list, then just reach out to me and I'll send it to you. Just want to put that out there so that way that helps you um, as well. But that really does it for the talking part of this video. <laughs> I don't, I think I covered like everything that matters to you that you maybe would want to hear. And of course, like, please ask any questions in the comments and I'll answer. I try to be as transparent as possible, but, <laughs> but let me go ahead and like get this footage going for you guys. If you're into this, um, probably my first time watching it too because <laughs> it freaks me out but yeah as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you again soon
Thank you. 